So, if you just so happen to watch our last video that we just finished, um, we just went through all of Dune's stuff and all the things that you'll need for a service dog. And in that video, I showed you this giant Petco box that we just got. Um, Petco was having a huge sale. And I love online websites because I have an anxiety disorder and I have a hard time shopping in person. So if, you know, if I find a big sale, usually what I do is I'll buy like six months worth of dog stuff so that I don't have to go to the store. Um, and that's something that dude will be able to help me with eventually. But at this point, he's just a puppy. So we only take him into the store for like five or ten minutes at a time so he gets used to it. So let me get a pen. <laughs> Season all over the place today. Terrible, terrible allergies. Which hopefully is something that Dune will help me with as well. He's a hypoallergenic dog. He's a golden doodle. Um, he's he's more poodle than golden, I think. Um, but we don't. I'll I'll show you. But he's he's a sweetheart. Um, but hopefully hopefully he'll be more hypoallergenic. Um, but I'm not allergic to dogs. It's more of like dust and uh, fur laying around and stuff like that. So we cleaned it up. I'm usually good, but I'm sitting right under the air conditioner because it is hot out today. So um, that's that's why it, this is like this. So let's open this up. Just should have brought up the scissors. So this is like packing tape, like like the Amazon tape, but I guess pick over. Ooh. I really do hope that everything that I ordered is actually in here. If not, that would suck. Okay. Not all of these. It might actually all be in here. Yeah, it might actually all be in here. So Petco had a huge sale, and they had free shipping, and then it was like 30 bucks off our order, something like that. So we ordered from Petco. You know you order a lot when you have two full pages of stuff. So let's go through this. So the first thing that we ordered was this, which is, it's a deodorizing spray. Um, I live with my boyfriend. And as great as he is, he does not like when dudes smell bad. And I don't think anyone likes when their dog smells bad. Um, but dude, oh man, he's particularly smelly. And I don't know, he gets himself into everything. And I, I guess most puppies are like that. But I've never had a puppy like this this young before on my own. I helped raise other puppies. But man, he, he gets into everything. Especially dirt. He has a thing for dirt. So we got stuff, um, Stelton doesn't like him in the bed or on the furniture when he's dirty, which is understandable, but I want him on the furniture because I want him to eventually know that that's what he needs to do. So we got him this. It is Nature's Miracle Supreme Odor Control Freshening Spray for puppies. And it's a spring water scent. I don't know how it smells. Oh, it smells pretty good. It just, it, I don't know, it kind of smells like, like, um, clean laundry, maybe, and Febreze mixed together. But it's safe for him, and we can spray this on him, and it neutralizes the odor, it deodorizes, conditions coat, and it's safe with spot-on flea and tick products, and it's soap-free. So, it says, hold bottle six inches away from dog and spray on desired area, avoid contact with eyes, and it's nature's miracle, so it's all natural. I don't have very much in here at all, actually. Um, and then there's a puppy on it, so it makes me feel like it's safe for him. So we got that. So hopefully he'll like that. My guess is that he'll be upset because he doesn't like being sprayed on him, but we'll see. Alright, so then we also got him... These are training treats. They're bacon flavor, and they're only 1.6 calories per treat. And like I said in my other video, basically, um, we only give Dune, we give him different kinds of treats all the time, but we only give him 
made in the USA treats, which these are. And it has no wheat or corn, BHA or BHT. I don't know what that is, but I like that it's not in there. Um, but we don't give him anything with wheat in it because it's very bad for dogs. Um, so this one is, it's only a three and a half ounce, but it's, it's good for traveling. It's tiny. Um, and that, that will be good for him because we like, we like to switch up our treats a lot. So, we have that. Alright. So what else is here? Oh, these are puppy wipes, and I've heard a lot about these. They're by Earth Bath, and they're wild cherry. I didn't know they were wild cherry when I got them. I guess I should have. They're 28 pet wipes, um, and the same thing, they're flea treatment compatible. And these are specifically for puppies, so they should be good for sensitive skin. And it's the same thing, wipe them off before he jumps into bed on the furniture or whatever. Um, and it handily cleans puppies' dirty paws and undercoat, remove dander, drool, discharge, and cling ons from playing in the unknown. That sounds like our dog. So, we'll see how those work. Um, I guess I got these. These are a natural balance. Which is like, that's one of our favorite brands because it's, they're really, really good. These are eight ounces, um, which is actually a lot, and they're hard treats. And this is for a small breed, but doing a small right now, so it's not a huge deal. And we like that they're small because they make good training treats. We usually throw the hard ones in his crate when he goes to bed, and we make like a huge deal out of it. He's like, such a good boy, he's the best boy ever, favorite puppy ever, sort of a thing. And it kind of gets him used to the idea that that's a good place to go in. Um, so these are sweet potato and chicken formula treats, and they, like I said, they're eight ounces. There's no corn, soy, wheat, artificial flavors, or color, and when you're looking into a treat, you should always pick something that, you know, you know what the first, at least the first four ingredients are. There's not a lot of ingredients. This one, same thing, made in the USA, made with dried potatoes, sweet potatoes, potato protein, chicken, canola oil, like this is, this is all good stuff. So, um, we'll see how they like, how he likes these. So, we did get a lot of treats. So, we have a ton of treats in here. Alright, so these are Blue Ridge Naturals. These are 100% natural chicken breast and sweet tater fillets. So, these are six ounces. I don't know how much are actually in here. And it's made out of chicken breast, dehydrated sweet potatoes, distilled vinegar, salt, preservative, cultured dextrose. Um, and then on the back it tells you what the recommended number of treats are. And, I mean, it, it, seems, it seems good. Let's open it up. They look, they look big. So I wonder if it's like a mix between a chew and a treat. Yeah, they're, they look like carrots. Ugh, they don't smell very good, but I'll probably love them. Um, so it looks like a carrot. It's big, and it looks like these would be pretty easy. Yeah, they're really easy to break apart. Um, so that that's good for us because we'll just break these up. But if you have a dog that you know is bigger, these this would still be a good treat, and it's totally safe and it's good that you know that these are all natural and they're made in the USA. And I would imagine that they don't have very many calories in them because there's not very much in it. And this is a five ounce bag. All right, so then we also got Natural Balance. Like I said, I like this one a lot. And these are mini rewards and it's the duck formula. It's less than five calories per treat for puppies. And it's for all breeds, and it's a four ounce bag. See, it's pretty tiny. Um, same thing. There's not very much in this made in the USA. Duck, brown rice flour, dried potatoes, water, dried sweet potatoes, um, salmon oil. This is all good stuff for him. So, and we'll use these for training. But like I said, I order like all this stuff for like months. Same thing. These are just like, these are the crazy dog, just like these. Um, and this one is four ounces instead of three and a half, and it's the beef flavor. 
There's approximately 200 rewards in here. And again, made in the USA. Um, pork liver, barley flour, whole ground potatoes, beef, potato starch. So same thing, no grain. This is good for him. It does have a little bit of starch in it, which I don't always like giving my dog starch. Um, but for the most part, I think potatoes are okay for them. So as long as it's not like warm filler to crap. Alright, let's see what else we got in here. Alright, so that's the last of the treats. So the other thing that I have to do that I got for him. I, um, I got him one of these Himalayan dog shoes. I've read a lot about these. Um, this is the original one. It's for dogs 35 pounds and under because Dune is just a little bit over 20 pounds. Completely grain free, completely lactose free. Um, it's only made out of, I don't know, it's like yak's milk in it, lime, where is that? Yeah, this one has yak's cheese, salt, and lime juice, but it's safe for dogs. And the thing that I like about this is that at the very end, when your dog has chewed it all up, you can put it in the microwave and you cool it, but it gets big, and it's like a homemade treat puff. So, I like this, and I've, I've read really good things. So again, this will be supervised, obviously, but it'll be good for him when he's at training and it's talk time and stuff like that. So we got him that. And then I also got him these natural puppy teething rings, which is good because these are by Nyla Bone, they're chicken flavor, and he will be teething probably soon, if not already. Um, and that means the puppy's chewing everything. So these... It has rice, flour, water, chicken, natural chicken flavor, cranberries, citric acid, dried yeast, cinnamon, fennel, algae meal, turmeric. usually don't like giving him cinnamon. It's not great for dogs, but a little bit is okay. All puppies go through painful process of growing in new adult teeth. While teething, puppies experience pain, discomfort, and a strong urge to chew. Let's open this up and see what these look like. Wow, these don't smell very good either. They're hard though. This is really tough. So I think this will be like these will last a while with him. Um, and they're big. Like this will fit. Like this will probably fit around his nose, like his nose right now. Um, but you know, same thing. Supervise your dog when giving them any kind of like chew toy or treat like this. But yeah, I think I like these. So I should check out how much these were. All of these treats, I don't like paying a lot of money for treats. Those blue buffalo ones that I showed you in that other video. Um, you know, I don't know, they're at the bottom of that basket. Um, those blue buffalo ones, they were like six bucks for that bag. And I don't want to pay that much for dog treats. So all of these were under three dollars. So they were on sale. And whatever wasn't on sale, it was under three bucks. I've never paid more than that for a treat. So getting into his toys, which of course is always fun. So, I got Dune, every week Dune gets a new toy, and this is kind of our way of getting him not to chew on the things he's not supposed to, because he is learning leave it and take it this week, but obviously he's not going to know that, like right away sort of a thing, it's going to take time, um, so we don't want to, we don't want to make him do anything, we don't want to pull on his leash, that's we're learning positive reinforcement training, and that's not something that you want to do. You just want to distract him. So we give him a new toy every week, and that distracts him. And he doesn't chew on the things that he's not supposed to. So these are all of the new toys that we got him. This is a Calm Winders, and it squeaks. And it's a stuffed animal. Like I said in the last video, he loves stuffed animals. And we don't know why, but he does. Um, I guess maybe it feels good on his teeth. So, um, we got him this. It's a stuffed animal and a rope, so I have a feeling that this one is going to be a hit. Um, we got him this one, which is pretty neat. It is a Leaps and Bounds dog toy together time. I think it was called like a cog something. Cog. 
cog ring with rope tub. And like I said, all of these were like under 10 bucks because I'm not going to spend more than $10 for a toy that my dog's going to chew apart. Um, but this is tough. It has a rope on it. And the thing I like about it is that, you know, you can, this is a two part toy. So it's like two for one sort of a thing. Same thing with this one. Um, I was trying to look for stuff like that. So even if he chews off one part, he still has another toy. So this is pretty tough. I think this will be fine for him. Alright, what else did we get? Wow, this is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Um, this is a little dog toy. Does it squeak? No. Oh, it does squeak. I usually, I don't try and squeak anything when he's in his crate because I feel bad for him. So this is a Seaside Summer dog toy. Um... I don't know if I'm going to let him have this yet or not. Um, this is really tiny. I didn't realize how small this was going to be. And he is he is a small dog right now. He's just a puppy. But, I mean, this is the size of my hand. I don't, I don't know if that's going to be okay for him because he's going to grow. And then I'll have to take it away from him and then I'll feel bad if he likes it. And I think I paid a decent amount for this. $5.99. So I'm going to talk to Petco and I might return that one. Alright, um, that's, a, that's the thing with buying online, too, is that you never know what you're going to get. So, always always remember that. This one is a squeaky, too. Ooh, he's going to love this. This is another one of their Seaside Summer toys. And it's a fish... It's like a fishbone thing. And it was $7.99. Um, and it has... It's a fish, but it has ropes. And then the end is, like, crinkly. Like, some dogs like that. And then the head has a squeaky in it. So there's that one. And then this, this is cool. This is a leaps and bounds ball. And it's like a spiky ball. But it's it's big. So we could throw this out in the yard and have some real fun with it. And I think he'll like this a lot. And it's tough. This was in their tough toy section, so I don't think he's gonna be able to chew through this very easily. And then we also got him this Leaps and Bound Doggy Floss Rope. Um, as I said in my other video, anything with ropes can, you know, if he pulls this apart, if he chews it to shreds, it can get stuck in his intestines. Um, and that's not a good thing at all. Uh, it can get wrapped around there. So anytime your dog is chewing ropes, anything with squeakers, anything with, you know, stuffing, always keep an eye on them. Don't let them have it by themselves. So this is a really big one, so this would be great for Tug. So, I mean, as long as we supervise him, I think we'll like that too. And then I got him this, this tiny little frisbee. Um, I'll probably give this to him right away outside, but um, it, it'll just teach him how to play frisbee. But it's it's cute. I mean, it's cute. And this one, I think it's like 99 cents. It's a dollar, so why not, right? This is... This is six inches, so it's it's tiny, um, but it's cute. All right, and then I got him this. I'm so excited to give him this just because I love ice cream, and hopefully he'll love this ice cream. I don't know. This is a dog toy playtime pal by Leaps and Bounds. It's an ice cream cone. It's adorable and it's huge. It was only eight bucks. Um, the top of it has this huge squeaker in it, but it's also stuffed, which he's going to love that. Um, and then the bottom of it is like the crinkly stuff, like really crinkly, like a water bottle sort of thing. And we are trying to get June used to as many textures in his mouth as possible, because as a service dog, he might have to pick up anything that I point at at any point. So, you know, all different kinds of textures are good for him. Then we also got him this. This is a treat dispensing dog toy. And this was only six bucks, which is a really, really good deal for what this is. It's like, it's a good teething toy. It's very strong. And it's a starfish, and it's this really cool color. And as you can see, there's a hole. You can put all kinds of treats and kibble and stuff in there, and you can play with it. And it's not, it's not too small for him. It's a good size. So I would definitely recommend this. This is, this is cute. It's nice. That. And then I also got him this calm octopus. Um, I don't remember how much this one was. It's for light, moderate chewing, but
but it floats and it's waterproof and that was something that we really wanted for him. I think this squeaks too, I'm not sure. I don't want to try too hard to squeak it because again, he's in his crate. Um, but it's cute and it's waterproof and we're trying to teach June to go in the water and grab things from the water and that water is good. Um, so it'll be a good toy for that. Then he also has this rope ball. Um, this one was $7.99. This, these ropes aren't very strong, um, but it is, it is a really cute toy. And again, it's one of those toys that is two for one. So if he does two part the ropes, we can always cut the ropes off and give him just the ball, which I like. Um, again, if your dog starts chewing anything to the point where it could be unsafe for him, take it away. So this this ball is hard, so I think it'll be fine. And then I got him this. This is a Leaps and Bounds Doggy Floss Crackle Rope Dog Toy. And it has like that crackle uh, like material in the rope, but it's also a rope. And that has a tennis ball. I don't usually give him tennis ball toys unless we're throwing it back and forth because he has a tendency. Where's that other toy? Like this one, it has like a tennis ball material, and as you can see, he's like just pulling this stuff off of it, and that's not good for him. So this is, like, I would never give this to him to chew on. And then the last thing that we have are these Adventure Seekers dog toys. Um, I got two of these balls for my parents' dog because they are his favorite, and they were 15 bucks a piece, but they're his favorite. So we got two of those. And that is everything that is in the box. So that is our dog toy haul, I guess, with all of the stuff that we're going to be using for the next couple of months.